Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Team of the season is officially underway. We got stuff in packs. We got market movements going crazy. A lot of coins were made today. A lot of opportunities for making coins. And I think there's also some things you guys can do to possibly make more coins coming up in the next few days. I want to talk about that and talk you through some things today. But this is the loading screen, of course. We've got EFL team of the season, community tots, a card SBC, new storyline objectives, and themed objective players as well. So I want to cover the content first and talk you through some things, and then we'll possibly get into talking about what I did today to make some coins. We've got the uh, team of the season official counter down below, so I'm probably going to keep that on during the YouTube videos. Just if you don't, if you guys do not catch the streams, you can see how many team of the seasons that I end up packing myself throughout this entire promo um, and then I'll probably update the counter for uh, the total number that we get per league so I might do some of that as well but that'll just kind of be down there sparkling a little bit just to kind of show you what's going on and how many I've packed on my account because uh, I plan on opening lots and lots and lots of packs during team of the season it's going to be harder to though with some of the information that we got from EA today about team of the season and I want to talk to you guys about this right now for a little bit and just kind of, I guess, chat about it, uh, so to speak. But this is the information that we got from EA today. And there's a few things in here that I want to point out. I don't want to, I don't want to read the whole thing, but this is interesting. Nine additional squads will be released throughout the team of the season so far campaign. Uh, and if you would notice right now in FIFA Ultimate Team, it says that the EFL League Tots is in packs until Monday. So it looks like that what they're going to do is they're going to supply those lower leagues and they're going to change and the main league every single week and for the lower tier league they're going to let those kind of overlap it looks like uh or i'm not sure how exactly they're going to do that but uh the, the chinese league and the mls leagues are going to be based on their last season before 2020 so that's interesting uh about that but uh sbcs is what i want to talk about next we're going to get some flashback team of the season sbcs from previous team of the seasons in the past. Again, I think of Firmino right away. Um, think about some guys in past team of the seasons that were super duper hyped up that maybe don't have a card this year. Uh, and I, I like this. This idea right here is really cool. I don't hear a lot of people talking about this. Moments of brilliance can strike at any time. To acknowledge some of the outstanding feats, uh, team of the season squad building challenges will be awarded to players who had standout moments but did not qualify for the respective team of the season so far. So that's kind of cool uh, that they're doing that. And then this is the really, really cool thing. This community champions um, that they're doing as well. To shine a light on footballers who went above and beyond their communities during the COVID-19 crisis, team of the season will honor a select few with player moments, special items uh, to be released throughout the squad building challenge or objective. So I guess we could do a little bit of research into that. I don't know which uh, footballers have been... Um, you know, paying it forward, I guess. I don't see a lot of that inf that news, I guess, over here in the US. Maybe some of you guys in the new UK will know a little bit more about uh, which footballers have been recognized, maybe, uh, for going above and beyond to help communities during this crisis. But um, yeah, that's, co that's cool, right? I, I, I applaud EA for that. Um, but now we got to get into stuff that is not so cool. And there are two things in here uh, that are not so cool according to EA Sports. Uh, actually, just, just one of them, honestly. It's just this right here, man. Um, the premium league upgrade SBCs are only going to be available for 24 hours towards the conclusion of each league team of the season so far, beginning following the community team of the season. So, uh, this is obviously what we look forward to during team of the season. You have so many people and me especially, that are looking to go almost broke, almost go million coins into these upgrade packs, what we trade for to be able to spam these upgrades, to craft SBCs and pack Team of the Season cards in hopes of you know filling up our clubs with all sorts of cool stuff because of those packs that we get to open, just being able to open packs on this game. That's what we love to do during Team of the Season. And these are the SBCs that we like to do it with. And for some reason, EA feels like they need to limit us on these unfortunately uh what i did today is i put out a tweet i said hey ea uh we definitely want these to be extended longer than 24 hours um please extend them longer than this 
And I just want to remind you guys that it was actually last year in FIFA 19 where we had to ask for upgrade packs because they didn't come out right away. We had to ask for them. And once we asked for them, we got them. There was such an uproar on Twitter, on social media, you know, asking the community managers, asking the EA accounts, hey, can we get these SBCs? And they gave them to us. If we put forth that, uh, you know, sort of effort again this year, if you tweet at the EA Direct account, of course, be respectful and say, hey, EA Sports, we would love to have the upgrade SBCs for longer than 24 hours. If we do that over the weekend, uh, I would encourage you guys to do it. I'm going to be doing it. Uh, I think once a day I'm going to say, hey, hey, EA, we would still love to have these out for more than 24 hours if that's something that you can do because uh, we want to open these packs. And to be honest, it's going to take more coins off the market anyway, so you might make more money for people wanting to put on FIFA points. So maybe it benefits you anyway. So that's why this is the one thing that really, really bums me out today. Um, but we're probably still going to have an 81 plus SBC because it says many familiar as well as some new favorites will be released. So that to me, um, you know, leaves the door open for them to do some crazy things. But we, we'll be watching the SBC code. I would expect 81 pluses. I would expect team of the week upgrades this week. Um, probably a mid or a baby icon upgrade, maybe a prime. That'd be pretty crazy. Um, but this is the thing I wanted to touch on as well. Um, I'll, I'll touch on this first. Weekend league rewards. Um, Basically, they made this whole confusing graph and they worded it differently. It's going to be the exact same as last year. It's literally going to be the exact same as last year. Uh, it looks like you're only going to get one team of the season item when you first read this. But then when you read below that team of the week moments are no longer going to be coming out on Wednesdays. There's not going to be any team of the weeks from here until June 10th or until a majority of the football calendar resumes, which as of right now, I think only the Bundesliga is the top five league that's going to be coming back soon in like three or four weeks or something. But um, this is basically the exact same as last year. So you have to get gold two plus to be guaranteed somebody from the main league. And it doesn't spell that out very well right here. But if you remember what you did last year, if you want to go back and watch a video from last year, and maybe that explains it, like just because you can actually see it happen, um, that would be a way to kind of understand it. But it's the exact same as last year. But what is not the same as last year is that we're not getting Team of the Weeks. There's no Team of the Weeks that are going to be coming out during this promo. I tweeted out today and I said, hey, this is massive. This is honestly massive because what that means is this is the last Team of the Week supply that we're going to be getting of fodder Team of the Week cards on this market. So that is what interests me a lot because this is team of the season where we're filled to the brim with SBCs and coin sucking opportunities for SBCs because there's so many packs being opened and stuff like that. This is like the culmination of foot almost uh, towards the end of the year, like the last big mega promo that everybody is pumped for in FIFA. So uh, of course there's going to be SBCs. They've mentioned that. We know that from before. That makes me think that investing in some of the SBC fodder the cheapest team of the weeks from this team of the week. And if there's any cheap informs or team of the week moments cards from a previous team of the week, that to me seems like a pretty good shout right now because of just the rarity of these cards. You might say, well, Nate, they're going to do something. They're going to do something to supply these cards in the market, right? Well, yes, I think they're going to release a team of the week upgrade SBC. But that is very, very different than actually releasing the card into packs and onto the market. There's a lot more supply. There's a lot less supply that would come from a tradable team of the week SBC than what would come from a um, card coming out into packs. So right now, Javi Martinez is like 25,000 coins. This to me screams like the best investment in form ever. Uh, you know, I picked a couple of these up today at 25K during the lightning rounds. There's one other one right here. I'm just going to get up and send the transfer list because 25,000 coins for that by the end of team of the season because of the links that this guy gets, Bayern, Spanish. You know, every single SBC that EA is putting out this year is like 70K, 70 chemistry plus. Uh, so this card is going to be massive for SBCs down the line. So I'm stocking that. Anything from this team of the week, buy one, put it in the club as it comes to a team of the week moments item. If you're on a higher budget, uh, go on to Footbin and look through some of the cheapest 85, 86, anywhere from like an 83 up to an 86 rated inform, maybe even 87 too. And just buy one and stash it in the club because honestly, 
Um, that is the stuff that's going to be needed a lot coming in the next few weeks. And uh, since there's no more supply of it, that's an investment opportunity in my eyes right there. Uh, with some of these Team League Moments cards. That's how I feel about those. I stocked my club, stocked my transfer list, bought one of each, did some of that stuff today um, on the market as well. But I want to talk a little bit more about what happened today on the market. There was a lot of panic selling today. As you can see, a lot of cards I flipped. I want to go take a look at some flipping graphs with you guys and show you just some of the panic and rebound that we had on out-of-pack special cards. This is what I said in the morning. Uh, I said in the morning, I said, see the panic, spot the panic, buy the panic, right? That's what I say a lot of times on Fridays because there's always panic selling on Fridays, heading into a promo. The severity of it each week is what differs. This week, we had some pretty, pretty severe panic selling, right? Uh, for birthdays, rebounded. They went down, they came back up. This Griezmann right here was 1.1 million coins earlier, right before the promo started. He's back up 100,000 coins. Look at this daily graph down all morning, down to 1.1 mil right here, and then boom, back up to 1.32 mil and is now kind of chilling. And this is another interesting thing I want to point out. If you guys are buying cards in the pre-6 p.m. panic, um, a lot of this stuff, not all of it, but some of this stuff was actually cheapest earlier on in the morning. It was not like right before 6 p.m. UK. Uh, this Ronaldo card's 2 mil right now. He was at 1.85 um, this morning. Uh, it doesn't really, it probably, I don't know if it caught, flipping caught it. Yeah, right there. 1875, he rebounded to 2.085. A lot of this stuff when it rebounded, it was, it hit the peak three hours. Actually, wait, it was, it was actually uh, four hours after the first lightning round. So we have the 6 p.m. UK, we have the 7 p.m. UK lightning rounds, we have 8 p.m., then we have 9, then we have 10 p.m. UK. That was when a lot of this stuff, uh, 10, anywhere between 10 to 11 p.m. UK is when a lot of this stuff reached its peak selling price. And some stuff has actually come down since then. Uh, and that's something that I've noticed in the past two promo weeks um, with this first week of team of the season. And then uh, I think it was the second week of foot birthday. That, that time period is where the market actually gets its highest on the entire weekend. It rises a little bit into Saturday morning. There is a little bit of a rise, especially I think we might see a rise this morning on some cards that may have you know gone up and then kind of come back down. And then they might come back up a little bit more as people continue to play weekend league and to grind games and, and buy players for teams. Um, but that's kind of like the peak sell time. If you guys are flipping these cards, like the cards that I bought this morning, I focused on a lot of attackers because uh, there were not a lot of strikers there's literally one striker, two strikers in this new team of the season team, right? Team of the season community. There are two strikers. Uh, there's Zaha, who has a three-star weak foot and is a million coins. And Musa Dembele, a 130,000 coin striker card. Uh, there's no attackers in here to me that look really elite or really good. You saw a lot of strikers today. They got panic sold and they rebounded massively because of just the sheer lack of attackers that people could go out and buy. So they went out and they bought the same ones that they had just panic sold. So you, this Halan was 1.2 mil that I bought. He sold for 1.3. Lacazette was 660K this morning. I bought this at 670, sold it at 747, but he at his peak at like 10, 11 PM UK was like 760 or 770. Uh, and then these Musa Dembele's, that was a different one. I'm going to tell you about that in a second. This Varan was a 100k lazy sale. That was actually pretty dope. Uh, this Sun, I bought two Suns at 570 and 580k. Sold one for 650 and I sold the other one for 660. Bruno's, I bought at 500k. All these Varans, I bought at 720k. Um, I think I all got them at 720. I think one of 728, but that was a nice riser. Just a center back. Um, that's a French center back. Again, there's a sun. I got this at 560 and I still have some stuff to sell, but I want to talk about these Musa Dembele's because, uh, these team of the season cards as well were very, very cheap in that first, you know, 30 minutes of, uh, packs being open. And what that tells me is this reminded me what we saw today with some of these prices, the team of the season cards, right? The new team of the season cards, what we saw today reminded me an exact spitting image uh, of was the first week of foot birthday. We had all of those packs saved up 
We had all of those packs saved up from people saving weekend league rewards, knowing a promo was coming, knowing that foot birthday was going to come soon. And they all opened them in the first hour of lightning rounds on the first set of foot birthday. And that's what happened today too. Casuals can't hold their packs, boys, right? A lot of you guys probably opened their packs. I had five packs and I just opened them. I said, screw it. You know what? I might as well give it a shot, see what I can do, open up five packs. So these cards were very, very cheap in that first hour. This Musa Dembele was, I bought 15 Musa Dembele's in the first hour of lighting rounds for around 115 to 122, 123,000 coins for most of them. And I sold a lot of them for 177K. I've, getting, I've gotten sales from 150 to 177. Now, right now he's 139. Uh, I think he'll rise to 150 by morning. I wasn't able to sell all of them right away, but I got some nice lazies and I made a lot of coins on that today, just knowing that, hey, a lot of people are opening saved packs. When you have some time in between promos, even just a couple weeks, we knew that people had saved packs and that they were opening them. And that made a lot of these cards really, really cheap this morning. I'm pretty sure this Brant uh, team of the season item, who is 260,000 coins right now, I'm pretty sure that this guy this morning was like 200,000, 220K at one point. Uh, and then he went up to actually 290K uh, at the at his peak on the buyback after lightning rounds. That happened with a lot of cards today, right? Uh, you had Felipe Anderson. I forget what price he was earlier in the day today. He actually might have been expensive. Um, with th this, uh, the fluctuation on these cards, like what I was just talking about with the Musa Dembele, right? That fluctuation was due to him being a lower tier card, lower to mid tier card that got packed a lot. Um, and then, you know, was a desirable card. So people wanted to go out and try it. And he just got it too cheap, right? A guy like this or Felipe Anderson or Zaha or, or Gomez, they're going to start off very, very expensive because there's a lot of hype around that card already. Uh, so they're not going to be really one that you can try to do this flipping with and buy first hour. If you're going to buy first hour, I think you want to focus on a card that is, um, somebody who is a little bit more lower tier, I guess you could say. You could call it lower tier, uh, but hyped up, I guess you could say. Now, this Gomez card is really, really hyped up. He, he fluctuates a ton, doesn't have a lot of supply. As you can see right now, he has like no supply. So I'm really watching this card tonight. If I can get a, a buy price around like the 1-4 lows, because look at this, man. There's a 50K difference right here in between these two cards. Uh, and the 1485 has been up on the market for a little bit. I just watched him go on bid for 1480. There's a lot of hype around this card right now. These cards aren't rare, by the way. These team of the season cards have a pretty high pack weight. I'll go show you that in a second. But um, a lot of you guys have been asking me, do I think these guys are going to rise up overnight? I get a lot of questions about this guy specifically rising uh, into Saturday. I don't really think these guys are going to rise that much into Saturday. Maybe a little bit, but if anything, it's just risky because these guys, I mean, it was just like... Uh, just like for birthday, man, these guys had supply upon supply upon supply hitting the market during that first lighting round with all the saved packs being opened up. So um, there's going to be a lot of supply on these, which I don't like. Uh, but I want to show you the pack weight because 100,000 coin packs uh, last year during team of the season, we looked at this in my video yesterday. These had a 21% drop rate for most consistent and EFL. And this year, 16%. So it's a little bit lower but it's still pretty high. Now, of course, that 16%, a lot of you guys are probably going to be packing the team of the season EFL card. They have a lot higher drop rate than the team of the season so far. Um, most consistent or community, I guess I should call them. They're not really most consistent, they're community. Um, but these cards have a high drop rate, man. And the, the interesting thing about these is again, they're in packs until Monday. So I'm really intrigued by that. I'm curious to see what EA is gonna be doing with the lower tier leagues uh but the upper tier leagues is going to go week by week so we do know that for sure but stuff that you guys might be able to sink your coins into today i know this video is running long i've talked about a lot i want to talk about high rated fodder uh sooner rather than later because i know a lot of you guys are really really interested in this some of you guys have started to buy and you know what i'm going to give you the thumbs up if you want to go into fodder you have my blessing, okay? I know it didn't reach down. I had a, a set price target of 15,000 coins for 86 rated fodder. Right now it shows 16K, but if you actually get on the market and search some of these guys, you can get them on bids, right? And these guys have dropped so much in the past day. 
with the lightning rounds. Uh, I mean, 86s were 20k yesterday before lightning rounds. Uh, and and now now they're back down to around 16, 15,000 coins. 85s are at 7k. I like that. 87s are getting really close to uh, 20k. I like that. 88s are under 30. I'm a fan. 89s are in the 30s. I'm a fan. So, you know, these aren't the absolute lowest prices ever, but they're low, right? And all it takes would be EA to drop a an Icon SBC or something repeatable today that would just make a lot of these cards go back up in price. So you can wait till, till Lightning Rounds if you want to. You could wait until today's Lightning Rounds if you want to see if these cards go a little bit lower. But I would expect an SBC today. So maybe get out, get some bids, do a club stock at least. And if you want to go in more on fodder, then you can if you see it start to go lower um, later today. That would be my advice to you guys that maybe get get your feet wet with a club stock, buy one, chuck it in the club, drop a couple hundred K on that if you've got a lot of coins or just buy a few. 84s even look good and 83s even look really good. Like um, some of these guys are really good positions like for their price, like Adan Gies, 1.1K, Sentiment in the Bundesliga, really, really useful for chemistry. Milik for 1K, not bad. Iglesias, 1.1. Just look, for, again, for the good links, good nations, and all this fodder stuff. And I'm kind of a fan of that heading into today on, on Saturday. Um, let me just talk about the uh, really scroll through the SBCs and the content really fast. This Acardi SBC to me, a lot of people say this card is like actually really good. I'm probably not going to end up doing it because it's just, it doesn't fit my team, not my cup of tea. Um, if it fits your team, GG's. I mean, it made Di Maria rise a decent amount today. Um, but I expect... You know, this is an okay priced SBC, but you know what? It's just not super duper meta or super duper, you know, it doesn't just stick out that much. So it's an okay SBC. If it, if it appeals to you, then go for it. We got the ROM today. I haven't looked at the end games for this card. Uh, obviously he looks pretty dope. I remember using this guy's inform first week of FIFA and he was really good. And now he's got a pretty freaking sweet team of season card. Uh, but I'm just going to be honest with you and warn you guys a little bit too. These are the types of statistics that you're going to have to get used to seeing, right? It looks crazy right now to have those type of stats on this type of guy right now in foot. You're like, oh my gosh, Thurum's card is amazing. Just wait, man. We have, what is it, like 10 more weeks of team of the season? This card is going to be like, not irrelevant, but there's going to be so many other cards just like this one with incredible stats in the next 10 weeks. That if you're thinking that you have to grind this because there's not going to be any other one. Yeah, he's got different links, French and the Bundesliga. But you're going to see a lot of... Again, here's another striker with high physical, high pace, high shooting, and high dribbling. You're going to see tons of these cards in the next few weeks. Just juice stats on the lower leagues and the higher leagues. You're just going to see a lot of juice stats. And that's what did the market crazy today. That's why some stuff didn't do that well that maybe we thought was going to. Just because people could go and, and, and buy a team of the season card for a lot cheaper and uh, and try those cards out because they're a lot cheaper than some of these other special cards were before today. So I know it's a long video. I know it's a lot to digest and to go uh, to think about. But I do want to say the fodder, you got a thumbs up from me. Watch out for those team of the week cards. Look back at some out of packs team of the week ones if you want to stock your club with a little bit more. And then uh, just watch the... Watch the uh, Watch these team of season cards because I do think they're going to go down. You'll see a rise in the morning and then you'll start to see them trickle down in price as we get towards 6 p.m. UK because people will be worried that they're going to get packed again in lighting rounds, which is true. They are going to get packed again in lighting rounds and they're going to become more um, supplied on the market. Uh, so just be careful with these cards if you're interested, if you have one in your team. Maybe try to sell it like midday time UK before the afternoon and the evening where I do think they'll start to drop down in price once again. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.